and file and remove snapping and from here we have to select active directory schema and there is no active directory schema for that we have to register active directory schema uh, dll reg svr32 space scsm schema mgmt management dot dll hit enter it says schema management dll is registered successfully okay and go here again cancel this one file add remove snap in now here it is active directory schema add okay right click change active directory domain controller and select this domain controller or a dlds instance and select your new domain controller okay yes and go there again and go to operations master current schema master is win 2 k 8 r2 now click on change yes okay close now verify now it is win 2 k 19 good great okay we have transferred five roles i'm going to close this one and i will not save this console that's fine we have transferred successfully these five roles now verify fsmo role dns and gpu transfer to the new domain controller okay uh, for that one run this query command for the fsmo role yes all five FSM roles are transferred to the new domain controller which is win2k19 and verify dns okay this is dns server in win2k19 forward lookup zone demo yeah this win10 win2k19 and this win2k8r2 all records are here it is transferred after that reverse lookup zones same this is transferred that's good and go to group policy management there should be demo group policy which i created in win2k8 r2 yeah there is demo group policy okay that's great and here go to active directory users and computers and computers there is windows 10 client machine and inside the domain controllers container there is wintk 8 r2 and wintk 19 because of these two systems are domain controller that's why they are in here domain controller container when we demote or decommission this wintk 8 r2 from the domain controller it should move automatically to the computer section because of after the demoting or decommission this domain controller uh, it will only member of the domain controller not the domain controller that's why it should move to the computer's container okay now next step is sixth step we verified these things now sixth step is remove gc from old domain controller okay both domain controller is global catalog server now we have to remove global catalog from win2k8r2 ntds settings and uncheck global catalog apply ok ok now go to win2k8r2 and active directory users and computers domain controllers now it is this uh, win2k8r2 domain controller is only domain controller not global catalog okay after that we need to run dc dc promo and click next and don't check delete the domain because this server is the last domain controller in domain because of we transfer all the FSM role, DNS and group policy to the new server. That's why in this forest, 
this is not a last domain controller so that's why we are not going to delete next provide the password the administrator password click next and reboot on completion okay now it is restarting system is restarted let's log in again oh sorry no okay password doesn't match system is restarted and we removed global catalog from old domain controller let's verify that one go to new domain controller login that's fine and from here refresh this page one here it is now this uh, win2k8r2 is not inside the domain controller container it moved to the computer's container it means it is not a domain controller it is only the domain member yeah remove gc and uh, decommission world activity controller yeah this is also half of the procedure we finished because of we run dc promo and uh, remove the active directory domain service role from when to create r2 from here we need to remove some roles from server manager uh, roles and remove roles next we need to remove active directory domain services and dns server click next and click on remove Active Directory Domain Services and DNS Server role is removed from Win2K8R2 and we need to restart this machine. Before that, we have to manage some network setting. Here, in preferred DNS Server, we have to point to the new domain controller, which is 231 sorry which is 231 okay and click close do you want to restart now yes that's fine and this step is finished now our last step verify login server and user authentication from client machine go to client machine login using domain user that's fine here also we have to manage network setting now preferred dns server should be 231 which is our new domain controller okay we have sent the network setting restart client machine once okay client machine is restarted i am going to log in and open command prompt run as administrator yes and run again this set command here username is sysadmin domain controller is demo.local and login server is win2k19 that's fine
this grid. Now let's check in window get R2 login. I'm going to login with sysadmin sysadmin. Yes, this uh, win 2 k 8 r 2 also logged in. And here, just check and verify. Okay. This is on domain and logged in by sysadmin user. And last, go to new domain controller, which is win 2 k 8 19 In computers, there is two win 2 k 8 r 2 and win 10. Uh, now, these are the domain members only. That's why they are in computer's container and inside domain controller's container there is WinTook 19 and our domain controller type is global catalog server. That's fine. Here DNS we have already checked but again yeah these are the records reverse local of zones fine and group policy group policy management here domains this is my domain and demo group policy okay everything goes fine thanks guys for watching this video please subscribe my channel thank you